Okay, let's go over how this works. Here is uh, a scene with the script loaded up, and I've got a sphere here which is going to pretend to be somebody's head, and then I've got this mesh object, which is uh, two separate planes that I've bent into shape. Uh, they're just rectangular planes. Something very important about these planes, first of all, the root side of each plane has to be defined as a seam. That's how the script knows where to put the hair or where to start it. And the other important thing is they have to have the same number of extrusions along their length. So they have to have the same number of vertices from the root down to the end. They, would, they can both have five, they can both have six, whatever it is, but you can't have one that has more segments than the other. So back into our scene, all I've done is put these two objects and bent them into shape. If I hit run script, it's going to create hair guides for me. And if I render this, then it's created this hair system and I can go in and start editing that to give it a better shape if I want. Something very important to remember if you're going to play around with this, once you've run the script and created all this hair, you must go into particle mode on this head object and then touch each of these vertices. And you can just grab the comb brush, set the strength really low and the size really big and just click so that you cover all these points. If you don't go into particle mode and touch all those vertices, then this is what will happen. You'll create your hair and you'll do something like go into edit mode and everything gets reset. So again, you make your hair go into particle mode and just click once on everything. You don't have to drag, you don't have to move them, you just have to click on them. And then you can continue editing, you can go in and sculpt the hair around however you want.